Um, if I'm selling a product, I so happen to be black, mm -hmm. but I don't only want black people to purchase my product. Mm -hmm. However, if we're honest about how non-black companies or the mass, like people who make a lot of money, I really don't think that they prioritize their kind. They just market. Just market. They just go make money. They just go and make money. All right, Beats by Dre controls some 70% of the headphone market. Thanks to lightning fast marketing and a smart grasp on pop culture, in six years, Interscope Records mongol Jimmy Levine and hip hop icon Dr. Dre have turned Beats by Dre headphones into a billion dollar plus business. And then Apple purchased uh, Beats by Dre in 2014. And it is what we know today. So that is obviously a co, but a black owned business. It's a co-owned, but it's a black owned or was, right? A black owned business. Ty. My thing is, is that I feel that we as a whole are looking for quick results. And it, 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 be, it comes as not just how marketing and business handles and carries our culture and, and progresses it forward. It kind of resolves around how we handle our culture, how we progress our culture forward. If you really want to paint that picture, how many black people are literally buying black owned businesses that weren't doing it five, six years ago, 10 years ago. At the end of the day, if you're literally tap dancing on the line of inclusivity, if I can say, though, I want you to win, I want you to win. It's like the same thing. Issa Rae going to the Grammys talking about, I'm just voting, I'm waiting, I'm, I'm, I'm literally on everybody who's black to win. And we want that. We want everybody who's black to win. But at the end of the day, if you're not playing that role to see that black business in through the finish line, yeah. then you're literally just a spectator. And, that, and it, it all results like, look, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a small business owner. My man right here runs a podcast. He's literally a small business owner. It's like, at the end of the day, there's thousands of sneaker podcasts. At the end of the day, there's thousands of black owned restaurants. At the end of the day, there's thousands of black owned hair care products. But are you putting that money in to see that company move forward? Okay. And how, how, how connected are you to the end result? 